Hello everyone, my name is Ryan and in this video I'm going to show you how you can install games that you've got in your GRG library using Mini Galaxy, which is an open source alternative to using the proprietary GRG Galaxy application. Now Mini Galaxy is a simple but effective application that will allow you to install and update your games, including all DLC content, choose your installation language, and then specify an installation location for your games. It has support for native Linux games, as well as Windows developed games. Now these will be run through Wine. And uh, in fact, the only requirement from an end user point of view is that you've installed Wine beforehand and you've signed into your GOG account. Now when it comes to installation, officially Mini Galaxy does support all recent versions of Ubuntu, Debian, Arch, Manjaro, OpenSUSE, Gen2, MX Linux and Solus. But of course, the method of installation for your distribution will vary. So for example, since I use an Ubuntu based distribution, I install the latest version from the release page. So all I need to do is navigate to the latest dev package and then download and install. Once you've installed it, launch the application and then sign into your GOG account when prompted. So by default, what you'll find is the interface will only actually dis display any Linux native games that you have in your account. However, it's possible to show any Windows developed games as well. You just take a single toggle. Now, I did mention before that since you are going to be using Wine to play these particular games, not every game will work out the box. So you may need to manually configure some, some aspects of that particular prefix in order to get the games to launch. Either way, to enable all your games, you want to navigate to the top, go to Preferences, and it's literally this toggle here where it says Show Windows Games. So to install a game, it's relatively straightforward. Click on the game and click Download. So from this point, it's just a matter of just running through and allowing it to do its thing, really. So now the process is completed, just a matter of launching the game as normal. Either way, with that, it brings this relatively short video to an end. As always, thank you very much for watching. And if you did find this video helpful, please do consider leaving a like and subscribe to this channel for more content like this in the future. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.